Ones that I find clinically really important are these low trapezius fibers. Now if someone's lying down or standing and you can see what looks like the edge of trapezius, what you're usually seeing is the tight fiber. Remember, trapezius goes all the way down to T12, but you'll often see that tight fiber going down to T7 or 8 or 9, and this point will be right on the edge of that there. And I'll show you how to needle it later on there. Uh, this one here uh, on the uh, it's kind of, you know, between Sanjiao 15 and Gallbladder 21, or maybe uh, either or, either or. Um, that causes, sorry, let's go back to this bottom one here. Notice how the bottom trapezius trigger refers to the, both to the shoulder and to the occiput. So it's a cause of, in itself, it's a cause of suboccipital pain. So it can trigger headaches and can be part of a cascade of, uh, of trigger points there where we think of low trigger, low trapezius causing, upper trapezius causing both suboccipital and temporal, temporal pain. This area here, in the middle, just medial to the border of the, just medial to the medial border of the scapula, is one of those areas, you know, this is part of this territory here where so many things cause pain there. Uh, and this is another attachment of, uh, where are we here, that's this one here. And so we're getting fibres they're causing pain in the local area. But remember, trapezius, rhomboids, levator scapula, splenius cervicus, C45, C56, C7, scalenes, iliocostalis attachments. There's a lot of things that cause problems in that, in that area. And so you've really got to look. Uh, if you, I would challenge, defy you in fact, to differentiate between trapezius and rhomboids in that area because they're just two flat muscles lying over each other with similar directions. Um, it's really difficult to tell. Um, if you're going to be treating at that level, you know, I'd say don't worry about which is which, just treat, find the stagnation and needle it. But if you're thinking trapezius and rhomboids, you're going to be more superficial. Yep, if you're thinking of iliocostalis underneath it, you're going to be deeper. Uh, this one here is just a really unusual one where people get a little bit of pain right down near the AC joint and can be confused uh, with acromioclavicular joint problems and you just need accurate palpation to tell the difference. It's pretty easy to palpate the AC joint without irritating trapezius and uh, I've, something I've, I haven't seen very often at all in my practice. And this one up here is, I suggest that well, certainly the way it's drawn is more likely to be Sanjiao 15 than Gallbladder 21. But as usual, look for the stagnation rather than the point. And remember that refers not down to the shoulder, but up here to the occiput. So common causes of occipital pain are um, up, uh, mid and low trapezius here.